To perform the titration, first of all lay out your glasses in the order you see them there. Fill the first one with vegetable oil that you want to test. The second one, about half fill the glass, a small glass, with the yellow indicating fluid. Next, fill up the third glass with clear titration fluid. Now, take the syringe marked O and fill it with oil. Take up about three millilitres and then squeeze one millilitre into the indicator. Be as accurate as you can. Give it a quick stir. Now fill the other syringe, the syringe marked T, with titration fluid. Fill it right up to the five mil mark. Make sure there's no air in the syringe and that it is properly full to the 5 mil mark. Now, drip in the titration fluid, drop by drop, stirring all the time. You will see little flashes or splashes of red occur, but keep going until you see a deep red or a deep pink colour not orange, not yellow. That is the point at what you stop, or where you stop. Now, count the number of milliliters that you have used. In this case, I've used four milliliters. So that means that the titration, or T, is equal to four. Add that to the base amount of eight, you always use eight, and that gives you 12. 12 grams per liter. 12 grams of potassium hydroxide per litre of oil. So let's say we're going to have 150 litres of oil in our batch times 12 will give you 1800 grams of potassium hydroxide. That's 1.8 kilos of potassium hydroxide which you now proceed to measure out with your digital scales.